Good evening. 13 more teams from around District 10 began their quest for a state championship with first round matchups. And we'll begin in the boys' class 3A first round matchup between Seneca and South Allegheny in the first. Justin Walker sets up Logan Kibbe for the finish underneath. Bobcats grab the early lead, and then later in the frame, Walker takes it from the wing, goes to the opposite block for the score. Seneca maintaining that early advantage at the other end of the floor. Ethan Kirkwood drills the three-pointer for South Allegheny. On to the second quarter, the return of Bobby Yost comes up big as he's able to knock down the short jumper. Seneca trailed by six. Second half, Walker to Jacob Young for the deuce down low. Seneca trailing by four. Moments later, Young scores again in the post. Game all tied up at 31. And then Young outside to Lucas Rupp. He hits the triple, tying things up at 37 with five and a half to go. But the Gladiators would answer. They make a run late. Dylan Hines buries the three for South Allegheny. And the Gladiators knock out Seneca 52-41 to advance to the second round. They were real physical. Their guards were physical with our guards. We had a hard time getting into our sets. We had a hard time bringing up the ball. They, they were just tougher than us today. I don't think we brought the same kind of toughness that they brought. We felt momentum a couple times. We just, you know, a couple shots didn't fall for us. I thought we had some good looks. I thought we had some good takes to the hoops. You know, I thought we could get the ball inside. I thought we could do almost anything we wanted to do. It's just we weren't making plays tonight. Some other notable scores to pass along in state boys basketball action. It was Gerard falling to Bishop Guilfoyle, 56 to 32. Also in Class 3A, Elwood City comes back to knock off District 10 champion Franklin, 65-63. And in Class 2A, Ridgeway topples Cambridge Springs, 47 to 44. PIAA girls basketball Class 4A first round contest between number one Villa Maria versus Quaker Valley. This all. Villa Maria in the first half. First, it's Jaden McBride bearing the triple as she had 15 points on the night. And then more from Villa. McBride finds Daniela Shaughnessy in transition. She had seven points. Next, it's Tori Mays to McBride. And then to Carissa Dunham, who buries the three out in the corner. Eight nothing run. Dunham finishing with eight points. More from the victors. McKenna Ballone hits the corner three as Villa jumps out to an 11 nothing lead. More from the victors. As freshman Addie Beal gets the bucket down low, she finished with six. Then it's Mays to Ballone for the drive and finish. She had five. Finally, Walls on the three-pointer out front. She chipped in with seven. Villa Maria went up 38 to eight at the half. They go on to win this one easily, 60 to 21, as they move on to round number two. Our defensive intensity was very good, and you know it started with uh, you know Tori Mays on the ball. And I thought she bothered their point guard a little bit early, and we got some pressure up in them, and uh, you know fortunate to make a few shots. We always emphasize that defense is just our number one thing. You know we always talk about transition defense, and we were able to get some stops and uh, run in transition. It was I mean it was great. They're a great team. You know just we were just on top tonight on this one. So it's Phil Maria moving on to face Bedford on Saturday in the second round. Meanwhile, Chartiers Valley eliminates Harbor Creek 65-16, and it was Oakland Catholic over Warren 58-36.